What age did you start smoking coca? At 17. Or Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask Olga. I was going to switch it up. That was Why my little you? clever. <laughs> trying to switch things up. I mean. Nicole, you started at 17? Mm -hmm. Were you just curious or were you with friends that got you to try it? I was with friends, but I didn't start smoking because they were smoking. It was like a goody two shoes. So I figured I'd just pick up one and light it. And I did. And they were kind of scared. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to change your image a little. Yeah, I was like, oh, this could actually just don't drink, don't smoke. And they'd always sing it to me. And they're like, smoke one day. Like, okay. <laughs> so it was a little bit of subliminal peer pressure. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Right. The, the, when I picked up, they're like, no, they're like, don't do it, don't do it. They're like, no, we don't want you to. I'm like, but I want to try, I want to try, let me do it. Let me be bad the with more, it. The more people tell you no a lot of times, the more fun it is to actually do it. You always do what, you, what people tell you not to. I want to. I know. <laughs> don't do that. When did you start smoking? Over? I'm going to say about a year ago. Working in the bar. So you didn't start as a teenager? No. A good girl. Be in trouble, got good grades, played sports, did all the things that my dad made my dad happy. I'm a daddy's girl. <laughs> Does know? he know you smoke now? Actually, up until about six months ago, I'd say about six months, maybe not even that. It was the first time I lit up in front of him, he was kind of like, Well, Mija? You're over 18. You've been over 18 for a while. I'm sure it doesn't it doesn't make them totally happy. And my mom smokes. My dad will do it socially. He's a very social smoker. If he's out drinking, he'll have a cigarette. Yes, he's social. My mom, she smokes a little bit more than he does, but you know, that's how it is. I like it. <laughs> if I don't want to do something, I don't do it. Who says smoking is really bad? Everything's unhealthy now. Water is... Exactly. What do you do? There's nothing you can do. You have to have water. You have to eat. I mean, honestly, you can't even <laughs> eat vegetables and be okay because they, they put so many things oh, into it. Yeah. Yep. Growing this stuff in your own backyard, <laughs> and that's it. And you can't do it in the winter around here, so... <laughs> Buy off my neighbor down the street, he saw them. All these vegetables for three for a buck, and they'll give us a deal. They'll be like, oh no, you have a lot of kids. We'll give you a lot. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Do you ever see Chris Rock? I love Chris Rock. <laughs> he was hilarious. Last week. Yeah, he was talking about people complaining about eating red red meat will kill you. Not eating food will kill you. Exactly. It? <laughs> you know, I don't think if you're supposed to have it, I don't think it would be here. That's my that's my view on things. What about like drugs though? Mm. <laughs> well. Drugs aren't for you, but some people can do drugs and still function. God, there's so many people that do it. With all the, uh, the laws and everything, I mean... <sighs> a lot of the personal rights and stuff shouldn't be taken away. If you want to do something and, and whatever affects you, affects you. And as long as it's not hurting anybody else, there shouldn't be a problem right. with it. It's not cool to go shoot somebody. <laughs> Cut me off. I, there was nothing else for me to do. Things like that, that's a little bit too ridiculous. 
Unless you're Jack Nicholson, then you can take a golf course ah. to somebody's car. Wasn't he drunk at the awards? Last year, I thought he was drunk at the awards. He's like, hurt. He's always hurt. <laughs>